Hey YouTube, welcome back everybody. Hey, uh, I don't know if you guys saw the video on that one. This is the one that we've been working on. It seems like it took, oh, I don't know, 18 years to get done. But it is done. Um, I'll put a link to the video up here in this corner. But it's been sitting. And well, these two junk spark plugs are still laying right where they were. But it's cold. Let's see if it'll start. I know it runs. I've heard it. I watched it. I guess we had to draw fuel up to it. That's not what this video is about, though. You get that box sitting right there that I just coated with residue from our exhaust. Let me get this out of the way. We'll bring this box over. We're going to rip it open. We're going to start a new engine tonight. Let's grab this engine, bring it over, and wipe this residue off of it. Cut it open. We'll see what's inside. Keep a lookout for those instructions. There they are, guys. That's the highlight of this, usually. We got three spare o-rings once again our drill start attachment let me get this engine out of here and set it back right here all right well there it is That's what we're going to work on let's look at this they call this the em1 um, i believe this is the uh one that they consider to be the Atkinson engine or the auto cycle engine 1.9 cc's 13 millimeter bore 16 millimeter stroke this one says nothing about crankcase lubrication because well let's take a look well, our crankcase is all exposed so we don't need to add oil to anything. We are going to put mixed fuel in our fuel tank though. Um, kind of a neat looking engine. It is a single cylinder, but it's a dual piston. As I turn this, you guys can see, see how those arms go in and out. So it's a single cylinder with dual pistons and our spark plugs right here in the middle kind of a neat neat little engine so right here's our inlet valve and our exhaust valve you guys be able to see it it lives inside that hole and this linkage here is what opens and closes our exhaust valve so let me put some batteries in here and uh we are going to put some oil on everything that moves, just to be safe. And uh, we'll put our fuel in here. We'll see what we got for starting it up and see how well it runs. All right, well, this little model runs on three AA batteries. So we'll get those put in here. We'll flip it back up. We'll grab our disposable type oil can that we've got back over here that we always use. We're going to put some oil on all the moving parts just to be safe. We'll 
put some down in our cylinder wall just for sure. Oil our mains and our rods. Oil our cam. Oil our valve linkage. Do the same thing with this side. Well, we can hear the intake valve. You guys hear that? Kind of a neat pile of movement here. Let me uh, pull you guys a little bit closer. This is a fairly small little engine, so let me pull you guys in. There, can you guys see a little bit better? This is air cooled. We've got fans on, well, either side of our cylinder. You guys can see them turning. Alright, well let me get some fuel in here, and uh, we'll get our drill attachment put in our drill, and uh, we're going to wing it over and see what we've got. So, Okay, for fuel we're going to be using well, this same VP 94 octane 40 to 1 ethanol free fuel. Uh, we're going to look at these instructions a little bit closer. It says to fill the fuel tank. Once it's full, press on the carburetor. We don't have an ointer, guys. And uh, on the right-hand side of the engine, the power switch surface. And turn the flywheel clockwise for many times. Its function can make mixing fuel fully enters the cylinder. Turn it on and uh, spin it over. So it says from... The power switch side which is this we turn it clockwise so we haven't put fuel on our fuel tank yet but we're going to turn our switch on observe how this operates and we're going to turn it clockwise listen for the spark So we just completed our intake, we're on our compression cycle, we're going to listen for a Well, the instructions are backwards. This engine runs this direction. So it actually turns counterclockwise. So, all right, with that said, let's put some fuel down in here. Um, they could have mounted this engine backwards, who knows. Yeah, all right, let's get some fuel down in here. Fuel tank is full. Wipe off our excess fuel and we've got everything lubricated, so wipe all this off. Put our fuel cap back on. We've already got our drill attachment in our little DeWalt drill. And the uh, You guys ready to see what happens? It's all right, bump this thing every time. Put our finger over the carburetor. We 
our mixture out just a touch. had it. Looks promising. It's that crazy thing. That runs pretty good. A little bit fast, but listen to it. You know it runs great. What a cool little engine. There is no throttle on this one. This was a, a short one and, well, surprisingly non-eventful. What a cool little engine. I like it. It runs well and we didn't have to do anything with it except unbox it, which you guys saw it. We oiled it, put fuel in it, you know, kind of deciphered the instructions a little bit. But, I mean, like I said, this could have been turned around backwards and then, then it would have been the way the instructions described it but we got an engine right out of the box and well now it's going to make me it's ran for three minutes and it starts by hand how impressive all right well hey i hope you guys enjoyed this it was fun we got a long weekend, so we got a well, we got two videos out this weekend. So, hey, thanks again. You guys are fantastic. I really appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I love reading your comments. So, you guys have any comments or anything to say? So, you know, put put it down underneath. And uh, we got this little cannon back over here. It's not an engine, but I think it might be a little quick fun project and you know, who doesn't like things that make noise so all right that might be next who knows i appreciate it thanks again guys you're fantastic we'll see you in a couple days bye